is a bit toxic. Yeah, I mean, like it's not like his clear key was bad or anything. It gives him a lot of valuable stats. But Monk is pretty durable, so he can reliably get into gold cube. And being able to cancel literally anything into Sway is kind of insane. Oh, yeah. Boiler is already showing some counter play already, so no more of these crowd fully resets into Topping Hammer. And the Pink Bang Punch doesn't make it through, though! Oh, what on What's he with punishing the 2A? That is the one legitimate problem that Monk has. His buttons are very short range and they're very slow. They got big hit boxes, but they can be slow. Oh. <laughs> <What is that? laughs> What are you saying? Oh, oh uh, yeah, see? Yeah, I told you. Their buttons are big, but they are slow and they have very little range. Borderlands, sealing it up in round one. Oh, I think Crazy Figures had that. I think it was a slightly different reading. They would have just obliterated that health bar of Borderlands. Unfortunate drop and pick up from Borderlands. Nice punish. I say Monk does have the option of casting that into Swipe, but I can't be punished by Roll. Crazy Fingers block, stopping the Big Bang Punch. Yeah, it is armored, but still gets put by Lowe's. Beautiful Saggers coming out for Borderlands. Crazy Fingers had a little bit of trouble trying to get in, but he is a cool. He had a little bit of while but Gold Cube has been reached. Oh, you got the overhead! You did not the overhead, Borderlands! Oh, but the drop! This is okay, because Borderlands was caught in ashes. Yeah, Borderlands was pressing, pressing on Waco. Oh, yeah. So far, both of these players have shown to, to be willing to press a lot of wake up scenario. No one's trying to lock it. The Monk is one of the better characters at present in Wake Up. He's got you know, the Sway being frame 3 in going over the strikes. Uh, he has tied for the fastest jab in the game with 5 frames, which is very, very good for him. Yeah, he has but the to keep himself in. Probably going for a big bang punch, but going back at the same time. Yeah, no punish on the big bag punch. We drop the middle rock. Does you think is and convert? There you go. Oh, those were blessed. There it is. Monk has one low, but it's very important. It's an incredibly important tool in his arsenal. Oh yeah. Crazy thing is taking game one. Borderlands overall was playing well, but it was definitely slipping up a handful of times in the game, especially on the wake up track. <laughs> I don't think there's a single other character in the game who's. Uh, when they, when gr Launcher does grenade in the slide, they can. Uh, a valid response to it is overhead. <laughs> yep. <laughs> We can see if Borland is just not expecting it the slightest. Oh! Crazy Thing is definitely could have killed, but did not pass a combo enough. Now Borland will sneak this to hit off the spike conversion. Oh, you will whiff, unfortunately. Nice. Point it on the DP. Oh! This is to keep him outside of Goku, respectable. Uh oh. Uh oh! Oh no! <laughs> Borderlands, I'm not, you should have just went for the kill. It's a two way starter, you had a good amount of mana, and you had super available. Crowd start instant overhead, catching Borderlands on the way up. Oh, dude. <laughs> just not quite ready for that. I can't, I can't lie to you. Monk is a hilarious character. Oh, I, bro, I'm telling you, he's pure comedy, dog. Is he busted? Yes, but he's also hilarious. Oh, you got mixed, Borderlands. You got mixed. All right, it looks like we will be seeing the swap into Brawler. Mm -hmm. I've, I've heard a, a lot of people say that 
border um, not border so brawler can beat monk monk does have a solid answer to barrels from what i've seen but that seems to be just about it it's he might have a similar problem to other characters with other or to other characters that have somewhat exploitable or like telegraph lows uh, or he just has one and he has to really commit to using that low if he wants to stuff out Brawler's armor. Uh-huh. Urban the mana, respectable. Oh, we whip on it! Oh, the barrel as well. Oh, that's a crazy thing. That's called Asha. No, he's not trying to block or lick him. Keep your meaty oh, stuff when you're fighting a monk. <laughs> oh, crazy figures is in there. The overhead connects. Uh, how did that eat? Oh, no, he dropped it. Oh, never. I've got no, it. Hit it. OTGs. Hit yeah, OTGs. This information, I apologize. But Borderlands was stand, he was, he was stand blocking. Like, I saw the block animation from standing. I don't know what happened. Maybe he tried to jump or default to the cog block in last second, but. Baby fingers <laughs> running away with it right now. Only one more round. Yeah, on that point, or more or less. Uh. Top the combo, but he's back. He's back. He's out. Uh, no mask. There's a chance you'll big bang punch through and get stopped by that last barrel. Uh, I'm going from Borderlands right now. Solid damage. Realistically, all they need is one more hit. There it is. Crazy fingers. 3 0 over Borderlands. I said one more hit, but I didn't say who needed that hit. Um, you know, games. Andro was cooking. Very, I'm very strong, see, for sure. Glad to see Andro pull it up here, roll back from block. They are going up against Abel, who is one of the premier boss warriors going around like this. Yeah. Definitely, uh, been getting some stellar results as of late. However, you know, Andro, a very strong player in their own right, and this matchup historically is not the most fun. According to Lost Warrior players. Oh my goodness. Able kind of wiggle out and will get blown up for their troubles. Oh! Like the patience from Andrew. Awesome. Oh! Beautiful A use of the anti air. Andro taking a clean round one. Very clean. Say table does have. Oh, are we good? Oh. Hello, we good? Oh yeah, we good. We good. Really? I say, can you imagine okay. if it starts if it starts lagging? Lost Warrior just just does on the full scene or that's hello. The table will get a clean hit when I drop fifty percent. Yep. And remember, they are rocking the spitty. Uh, striker gold cube. Not something that we see that often, but once they get into gold cube, this character becomes a menace if you let her stay, stay there. Stable's not gonna let Andro get the chance. Round three. Not even once. Huh? There it goes. And it's a nice clean hit. Oh, to reset to the one is punch. Table for the block. Yep. Oh, oh my goodness, no. what a dive kick. The striker classic over the 2B connecting and not quite getting a kill, but table Unless, on death's door. They have to Unless we run. Oh, I was saying, yo, we optimal? So close. Andro takes round one. Going back to their striker roots with the dive. So every time I see a striker do the um, the route where they like they do dive kick into air tatsu and then like OTG with another ground tatsu, I'm like, oh, 
I, I understand. You actually yeah, so play Spike. Yeah, you actually play the game. We're going up and down. Uh, oh, oh no. no. <laughs> oh no. Counter hit 5S yeah. from the table. Her biggest Stop. starter. And opts to keep Andrew out of Gold Cube for the time being. Respectable. Striker does become a menace in Gold Cube. Alright, so I'm using the block one. Table is confirming. Ooh, what a 2A from Table. Andrew, possibly looking to take him to the skies next time in a similar scenario. So, so I said neutral, connecting, stuffing Andrew's attempt to dash block out. Oh! Hey yo! Hey game. yo! Oh, the perfect? Absolutely. Perfect. Table fought back hard in that game too. It was cooking. Table knows they got they got cooked in game one. Decided to bring him back in the source. Both games, Andrew's gold key was just entirely denied. They have this incredibly powerful resource sitting there at 30%, and they haven't been able to access it at all. That is one of the downfalls about picking Gold Cube, unless you are not your high health character. A lot of times you don't have the chance to actually use it, because you will just die. Even if you are a high health character, sometimes DNF duel just happens. Yeah, you can actually, sometimes you just get DNF duel. High health, my health. I draw a wolf of table and it's a clean shoot. That movement speed boost is no joke. Oh, a color from table, but no confirm. Oh my goodness, that, that worked. Was so goofy. What? I draw had the hit and didn't believe. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, okay. Everybody, everybody calm down. That was close. That was really close. Round two. Cleans it up. Oh, oh another one. <laughs> the first one didn't work. Do it again. Yeah, that feels so bad. Hydro was right there. The six S was two frames were coming out. DP is baited as well. It does have a very short horizontal hit box. And the table happening quite a bit in this set. Table just goes to those 5S throughs and the DP goes nowhere. That is three times already. Oh, it's gold cube time. Andro though out of mana, but they found a hit! Alright, what's the the wake up situation gonna be for Table? They have to guess right the DP! They know a chance. In the blocks. Oh, no way, Funnish was okay. Oh, the dive! Oh, no, the dive, dive kick catching table, attempting a throw, and it's gonna be enough! On Jiro from like the shit. brink of death. Oh my yes. goodness. This character is so fun to watch, bro. I'm not gonna hold you. She's Tom Foolery to fight, but she is hilarious to watch. Listen. Oh, but. As Striker's biggest hater, self-proclaimed. Oh, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Andrew was putting on a show for us tonight. Yeah. That's a table to try to play it simple. Notice that we get caught a lot last time. He is whipping! Andrew is taking advantage of Table's miss space. Uh, normal space. Yep. I asked for what got convergence said, nice use of the parry. You can see how desperate Table is getting on defense. Every time she gets knocked down, she's waking up with something. The last two last time we saw like parry didn't work, wake up conversion didn't work, wake up parry again. Well, Andro could have had the punk was a bit too slow. So did that kick as well, but the stagger is a lot. Please, what up? I'm so moving. Oh my goodness, what? Run up throw. 
and the 2B to follow it. I like that. Undro trying to 6M through, knowing that Table had been going for those orbs so often. Table switching it up. Maybe Daily has no just outside of those people. No one cancels just yet. First, the highest one is punch. Did not block the double overhead. But you still got one more chance, Table. What's it gonna be? I'm feeling a jam. Oh! Oh! You're feeling wrong. Wake up 5A is the choice, and she takes Anjuro down with it. I disrespected your game. Excuse me, too. I was not expecting the straight up 5A match. I did not understand your character. But Sable keeps it alive. Alright, I match a DP. Straight up. Alright, Sable fighting back. Sable trying to take us go. to a game 5. There we go. We'll get the guard cancel. I'm liking the movement from Table on the low. Table hey, has some very, very precise movement with Lost Warrior. Oh, yeah. One more hit is all, is all she needs. <laughs> oh, wait a second. Oh, we have to, oh my goodness. Don't. Table is running for her life. What? Button presses. Uh, be careful. Andre is a pixel in a dream, but not holding the guard button. Table takes us to a game. Game five already in our second stream match. Oh boy. This is how we're feeling. Feeling already? Most certainly. Winner of this gonna go to Bacon in the next round. That would be a lovely match for sure. They am Table's old reliable defensive option. Using the air movement to try to snipe in a hip on the Q's debate, but not able to avoid the TA this time around. Look at the Gamash. Table also counts up about 50%. I'm definitely at 50% gain. Clipped by the dive kick. Mm hmm. Oh, overheads table again. Tried something to wake up oh, this time. I, it works. No, no, no over like the baby. The damn. Never Once again, killing Anjiro from way outside of that gold cube range. Oh, yeah, now table's moving up to set point. Okay. Anjiro though not letting up the aggression, keeping table in this corner, denying the rollouts. But you, you, you can see a bit of hesitance in trying to meaty table. There looks like Anjiro is just not willing to press into a parry or hazard a low for the threat of JM on wake up. But if I keep their meaty tight, they should be able to stuff out the JM. But, oh my gosh, roll JM table. Trying to do anything they can. Oh, trying to JM both of them. Smash. We'll catch Andrew Dive Pikachu. Uh, hey, Master of anti airs is still cooking against Striker. Oh, you got punched in the mouth. I don't know what it plans when get punched in the mouth. Uh, you might have to like reline up your jaw after that one. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta, gotta take it. Just. Hey, eh. <laughs> don't get the mouth guard full. Ooh, I don't know. You move. Oh my! Match a five eight just like that. I was gonna try to jump out. Not in my DNF. No, sir. Run up the row. Under the health down to fifty percent. Three times stocks on. Bro. It's a punish? With Ansto. Table now officially and Clary Q. Super available. 200 mana available. 
But Table only needs one solid hit. There's three time stacks on Anjiro. Yeah, and the super is available. Anjiro oh. could convert themselves DNF. into Awakening if he wants to. Oh! I opened the Bro, Anjiro has no mana. No, they just had enough. No, this game sucks. Oh my goodness. Possible. Striker gold cube reversal when everything was on the line, when all the chips were down. Table did not, was not too far enough away. And Andra took it back. Gotta be. The stake's not a gold cube lost warrior. Surely he chose the wrong cube. However, the first time we've seen a gold cube lost warrior. Maybe since the cube system was released. Okay. Look at us. Crazy in this corner. Look at this damage off a 2B starter. Another one? Resby not trying to block out Wake Up. What are you doing? Get one more chance. Oh. Uh. Uh. Okay. Uh. Gonna go into uh. the apocalypse. Oh, he's going to the combo. Bro. Okay. Combo into it. Set up again. Oh, that's what's up. Look yeah, at the okay. damage, by the way. Yeah. Crusader do be doing that. Oh, yeah. However, this is now primetime robbery territory. It there it is. There it, it is. <laughs> <laughs> you were asking about that robbery territory? Listen, this matchup is just who is robbing the other one harder. Exactly. Is that not what DNF is? We're just robbing each other. We're all just wearing if you wearing ski masks. Oh, wait a second. So stage has a pixel, which means the dream is still alive. The text still alive. Where's the, where's the has no the parry. Has 5M conversion to get in. There it is. Gold Cube is on deck now. Anything that hits a res B is gonna uh, chunk. Not. Oh, the drop! From the top rope comes down stake. Time stop? It will oh, it's oh, that extra dead. long time stop too. Got the Gold Cube one and the Gold oh, Cube dead. Super. He's dead! No! Oh no, the drops! What a roll into the throw, but no still lives. There we go, there we go, <laughs> tossing the armor to yeah. No, sir. Your dash up throw. Armor is still loses the throw. The Caesar Tractor, new challenger. Alrighty. This throw not big already. Uh huh? Back to back throws. Resby on the back foot. Oh, boom. We'll throw right back. Oh! Ow! Neat! Yeah, that hey, what you 2B. Do? 2B counter hit? Oh, no. Resby getting a little, a little too frisky with the combo roots. Allowing Snake away in. Keeping him outside of Gold Cube. Until the 6S hits. There we go. Finish it out nice and easy. Oh, yeah. Taking around. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, can't, it up. I can't lie. The uh, the Lost Warrior route, where you just do like five jump canceled five M's in a row, is so cool. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, lo I love that. It's just kind of hype. Huh? I got fifty percent. Not blocking his noodle either. No, sir. Gonna be placed into Awakening now as well. Robbery Factor is here, wake up JM! That's it. If you can get the time stop, that could be enough. Oh, Too far to connect, much of a combo. Unless. A little super? Yes. Uh, it's gold cube. That's but like, Seder has damage board. reduction from his cube, and he's a thick boy. I, I don't know. Oh! I should have just get my mouth shut. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> You know what? I've hit a what's with the domain expansion commentator's curse. 
That is most unfortunate. <laughs> most unfortunate. <laughs> oh man, I had to say so. Sometimes it'd be like that. Uh oh. Oh, we got a monkey. He said, "You know what? I may be old and decrepit, but wait till my little brother shows up. We when my little got brother shows up, monk. it's over." He said, "It's over." Rest in peace, monk. Clear cube monk. By the way, Goki monk is a whole different beast. I, I still like the idea of clear cube monk, especially for people that are not like haven't labbed gold cube monk specifically that much. Because it's it's just a solid cube. It just gives him a lot of what he already does, right? It gives him extra damage, extra guard damage, I think as well. Yeah, I think it's those. I think it's those three. Yeah. Oh, okay. It gets tankier too. That's what. It, that's what it is. It's it's uh, damage chip and um, reduced chip and new speed. Uh oh. Which is very good for him. This character already does so much damage. Oh yeah. Oh. It really be like that. <laughs> yeah, I got a minute. Also, as a character that is already supremely beefy, like Monk is, getting that getting that awakening at fifty percent is so much more mileage oh, yeah. than some others could be. Oh, the stakes not gonna fall so easily. Movement from Resby gives him out of harm's way. Projectile oh info, that is? Is it really? <laughs> yeah, it is projectile info. <laughs> and it's plus a block, too. And it's plus a block, and it's a launcher. Yeah. Oh, you got mixed steak. Uh oh. Oh, the oh you got it by Gold Cube Raw 5M. Yeah, bro, that's it. <laughs> that's curtains. Oh, uh, say goodbye. Steak goes up to some point. Say goodbye, Steak. I like that he's he still has the gold cube roots in the bag. Even it's been what nearly a year since the cube system came out and gold cube lost warrior became endangered, and Steak still got it. Still got the muscle memory. <laughs> oh, the two A. Resi was not ready. Oh, the steak? <laughs> steak! Come on now. You cannot just do that. You. I mean, the character still does, like, have some notable problems. Being. You know, being a parry character carries some inherent risk to it. Oh, uh, yeah. And a lot of his tools are exploitable in some way, but. Not that bad, especially the clear cube covering some of the things that he is less proficient at, like movement especially. Act Bonk! The, the names are a bit backwards, but it is action. Okay, there we go, just got fixed. Action is with the battle mate. Oh, word, that's what's oh. up! He tried, he tried to get the reaction, and action was not letting him have it. Bonk. Oh, that's what's up. Oh, no kill though. But Breaker just mashed him. We'll be right back. Yeah, Breaker just Huh? And Break Cape here, fighting him back. The winner's QT finals. We have to see. Oh. I can't decide if Action was trying to beta reaction there with that conversion or if that was an accident. Fortunately, it didn't really net anything, and Gray Cape has so much damage off of Black Chance out for now, it's crazy. Gray <laughs> Cape coming off Black Action is in Gold Cube! That's something to keep in mind. Well, but Gold Cube does not matter. Yep, Gray Cape taking game one. It's something to always keep in mind when you're playing the lower HP characters. 
Normally, don't get a chance to be in gold cube when you do. It's not for long. Yeah, Battle Mage Gold Cube is a really weird one. But I feel like on paper, it should be really good for her game plan, right? Allowing her to just continuously generate chasers to keep up her offense, uh, even on block. But this character is made out of paper mache. Oh yeah. So sometimes she just does not get to interact with you at all. Uh -huh. Ray K Hero is watching right now. Actually, we'll get card cancel from Black Knight. That card cancel angle? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, nice use of the parry. It's all the cash. I got the time stop. Gray, come on, man. That's nasty. Sometimes it really be like that. That's nasty. You got words in bracket right now. It's no joke. Action already bought to less than 50%. And four seals as well. All Drake it really needs is to regen some mana and get one hit. That's it. Uh, uh, uh. Look how close Axe is to Gold Cube. That is heartbreaking. Ugh, the pixel in a dream. Just punish on the roll. One thing that. Oh, uh, the Mexican Snetta! Battle Mage is quite proficient at it. It's punishing rolls in her block strings. The chaser leaves you so close, you can just uh, do whatever. Uh, that hit. That hit. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're, kid you're kidding me. What is that? As well. Why is that so <laughs> wide? <laughs> She's the major battle. <laughs> that thing is so wide. <laughs> She's battling, bro. She's battling, yeah. She's doing her best. Well, right, actually, a little bit of momentum on their side. Okay. Nice use of the changes going oh, right through the JS. What? I see him. Look at that again. More than 50%. The tag. Wait, what? Game. Break him fell out of the chaser shot? Damn. You know what? This character needs some help. He needs some milk! <laughs> this... Oh, Grey Cape Lost Warrior. It's so good, man. That's the thing. Lost Warrior was, like... For lack of a better term, lost. For the first, like, year and a half of DNF. And out of nowhere, we suddenly have so many st super strong Lost Warrior players. So popping up out of nowhere. Huh? Huh? Okay, action, but a momentum! Well, actually, Iron Man, I have to be a little bit careful. Alright, guess coming up. Oh, too short for the JF to hit! Drops, giving Gray Shape the chance. Not what you want. Ooh. Way to keep yourself safe. But now you have no chasers. One. Oh. Gray Cape, but Gray Cape does not care. Lost or Lost Warrior gets so many air actions with those JM cancels. You can just do whatever you feel like into the super. This is Battle Mage. That could be death! At the very least, it gets a lot of mana back for Grey Cape. Look at this. Okay. out. Action has a chance! Grey Cape here will try to get out the parry, but it's not gonna work. Action keeps it simple. Button, button, super! Stays alive. You know what I've never, never really understood? Where is the hit in Battle Mage's super? <laughs> oh, she's, did she just be charging forward? We just like make. I mean, yeah. She, like after after she hits you with the spear, right? She goes into the animation, 
And she just like puts a star up and you die. <laughs> Where are you? I don't think. Is the, the other star character is... even in that super animation? The, the star is so bright you just get cooked. That's how that's how hot it is. Where is the person getting hit by the super? <laughs> there it is, over. Oh my gosh. Oh! What a mass of rage! Not a dare in the world. Uh -huh. I can't chill in now. I can't don't throw. It don't get thrown either. As oh, you got baited, bro. Wait a second. Oh, okay. All right, you got yeah. baited, bro. I hate, hate to break it to you. You got your baited. He may have missed with his TK, but it still worked out. It's fine. Yeah. Cave Hero sitting on set point. Again, coming out to such a commanding life lead against Max. Max and Gold Cube. Will they get a chance to utilize it effectively? Well, no chasers to their name. Oh. Now they're in, they got one. Oh, nice stuff out of the 5M. Okay. Low damage on Battle Go for the jump. One more hit. That chaser pressure up, guard cancel out, but action immediately reverses! Oh, oh the punish. He tried to, Axe tried to press something. Because it said punish. Yeah, action mix up. They still have to deal with the JS and 2B mix up on Ulti. But at least part of the mix up does not have to be done with. Plus 5 of them is overall a solid tool. To getting rid of the of the duck and sway shenanigans due to the sheer distance it creates. That's true. You gotta remember though, that big bang punch, projectile and you. It's true. But it is also quite so. Not to mention, oh just Quizzer's Quiz TP. But Monica is low key kind of flailing right now. But will manage to get the gate in. Got a good roll out of the corner. Oh, that's up the combo a little bit. But we plus on whiff. Yep, there we go. Say big pain, big pain punch is a solid neutral tool, but the armor on it is very slow. <laughs> yeah, very slow, baby. I don't think the air version is armored in any capacity or is like immune to anything. It, it Somebody can check that out. It is not. That would be so toxic if the air version had like projectile immunity or something. See, if if it was, I would actually agree with people's problems with the uh, with the mug. But since it doesn't, it, it's fine. I'll allow it. If the air version had armor, oh my god. Yeah, Can I was like, alright, bro. Can right you now, imagine? I'm thinking, because right now, I'm like, you know what, Nexo's cooking. They're kind of overcooking, but they're definitely cooking. But if that had armor, it's like, nah, bro, the dish is burnt. The dish is burnt, take it out the kitchen. That would be insane. Okay. Air version has nothing okay. That's what I thought. Oh, oh, the chopping hammer got something, though. Get that armor out of here. Yeah, you know oh! I just oh, want you to know that Great Doritos was so ready to match that he was only minus one. He didn't have to do that. He was only minus one. After, oh yeah. yeah. That's, the th that's the thing with Inquisitor Jam though, right? Since it spaces you out so consistently, Inquisitor players like are conditioned that like, oh, it's probably my turn. Because most characters can't really challenge very well from that range. And hey, crazy fingers take advantage of it. So keep the spacing. My cap playing some very solid spacing game right now. Keeping outside gold people like, oh, and he's just one hit. But he mashed on the plus frames. I'm PPM. You got mixed. Plus frames again what? into the overhead. Crazy fingers taking game one. Oh, the guy is getting overwhelmed right now. What, is it time for the Berserker? My cat could be swapping to the Berserker. This could happen. be a solid choice. It could be a solid choice in this matchup. Yes, he is going to the Berserker. But the Gold Cube Berserker at that, looking to get the extra life steal off. So, okay. I said, so I most Berserkers think... these days do be rocking Clear Cube. 
Yeah, I think Gold Berserker has a higher damage ceiling. The than clear. I don't. I'm not super familiar with the intricacies of Berserker, but I do know that Monk is gonna shred this health bar, and he'll get to Gold Cube pretty fast. Oh yeah. Oh, there you go, 2B, stopping the armor. That's right, got some very solid damage. Oh, oh, it's overhead. You know, I was gonna say, why does he still have that? And then I realized Monk does the same thing. So in this case, it's acceptable. Yep. Yeah. In this case, it's okay. <laughs> nah, I wouldn't go that far, because Berserker still get some pretty easy resources to combo from it. But, I'm also Berserker's number one hater, so do take my word with a grain of salt. <laughs> yeah, I, I will fully admit that I do not like this game. Look at your card bar, Monica, what happened to it? Not choosing to, to balance the plus frames, no roll, no guard cancel, nothing. Now look at your life and damn bullets. What a two way match, by the way. Oh, that two way match. Reset. To be fair, I do agree he's not going for the reset against a player like Crazy Fingers because they're mashing sway. Yes, the overhead comes in again. Monica. No, the truck! Cancelled out, big bang punch into the OTG. You oh, cannot yeah. escape from Monk. Oh. <clears throat> Not a cat cosmic as a bait actor right now. Oh. OTG? No, just opt in to keep it meaty. Five eight on the clutch right there. It drops again from Honey Cat. Nice back roll. Nice roll, oh, but I did not get punished. Yeah. Hey, yo, that was mad far. Uh oh. I say Monica. Monica does not have much to fear. He is a, he is a small character. So the five B first hit will whiff. Tries to mash on the six SS. That frame trap, the third hit of the five S string into six SS. Oh, yeah. Gut punch. Monacat taking and taking a second. Going back to character slot. Who else? Is it, could are we going hit? back back to Inquisitor or over to Striker? Maybe Ranger? Striker Ranger? Back to Inquisitor. Back to Inquisitor. I respect it. I respect it. I'll allow it. Definitely not the worst choice. He was looking pretty solid in the, in the sets with Inquisitor as he was with the Berserker. Monica is not playing that poorly. Only a couple of dropped combos here and there. They are literally just getting monked. Oh Damn. my goodness. Chopping hammer. You're not blocking your dome. You're taking over 50% for it. Right, walk. TP, TP, TP! Thank you! There we go. The gaps, Monica. You must see the gaps! <laughs> Crazy Fingers also seeing the gaps, though. Taking yeah. us a set point. Oh, you got punch, punch. Again, Monica just giving Crazy Fingers too much respect or wake up, to be honest. Again? Overheads again! Monica going out in the perfect crazy fingers. Perfect. Still hasn't dropped a game. No. 3 0 over Borderlands, 3 low. Just saw the SF. We're like, Swift Master? No. Yo, I'm like, hello. Oh, well. Gotta play Swift Master. Yo, we got a boxing match? Straight up boxing match? That's crazy. Three hands. Yep, we're doing some cool fashion MMA right now. What a team from Hanjiro calling a big hand with the chopping hammer. Slide catching through that sway attempt. And now Bacon has it in the corner. You gotta fight your way out against Striker. Oh, yeah. Bacon just in there blocking. Now that's all we can make. Solid defense so far. But, oh, I'm a 
you cannot escape. No matter what character you are, Striker is doing at least one sneaky overhead. Some of these big ones up to like four. I think Bacon Guy gets something on the board. There we go. What at least force on the hood perfect. Popping oh, hammer. Trade? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my. You died. Oh, no way. No. You died. <laughs> I love this character, man. This character that is so was sick. Pure <laughs> comedy, bro. Bacon this... House and the words of Diaphone, just generational talent. Man. Generational <laughs> some, talent. Some of these honk sequences have the same energy as the uh, the Grand Balance Patch troubleshooter combos. Yes. You're like, oh, that's, you're like, oh, that's a cute combo. And they're like, wait. Yeah. <laughs> they said, wait a second. What do you mean he's dead? Yeah. <laughs> Out of backboard. And drill putting the beat down on Bacon House. We'll put him in goalkeeper though. We'll try to get the combo. It's okay. Oh! The no! No, the guard break! Oh, yes! Please go! Oh my goodness! Okay. <laughs> Brother. <laughs> Brother, you can't just do that. Come on. This is disrespectful. It's hilarious, bro. What do you mean? Listen, they said Ooh. that you can cancel into duck and sway off of anything on a hit or block. Yeah, they did. Say they meant did. anything. They are true to their word. Oh, no punish? Big guys is gonna have to speed it up and punish out with the 5S. I just tried to go for a dunk. Okay, I feel like we've seen this many times before. Andrew was kind of cooking. Trying to sway again, but getting stuffed out. However, this set has been no stranger to gold cube shenanigans that Bacon Housen hasn't locked and loaded. Oh, bro! My, that was actually smart. That was actually smart. But Bacon dropped the combo. Oh, we're just, oh, we just whiffing. We just whiffing. Bacon, I tried what? to give you your flowers and you gave them right back. That was almost. What? Smart. What? I like, I like the bait to throw off the timing of the IS with the 6SS, but. Yeah. You were almost got it. You were almost got it. That was very good. Bacon had the killing blow and. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to finish the guard. Uh, uh, oh, he got two A. Uh oh. I'm surprised that did not pick up. I was going to take him full advantage of that drop combo. Yep. Oh, 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 is it overhead? No, that was. Dick! Nick is kind of crispy with it. He tried to get away! Oh! Chopping hammer! Poor SM, my beloved! Round three. God, this character oh, is this so character cool. Is so funny. <laughs> this character is so sick, bro. <laughs> it's so he's cool. He's com completely bonkers, but my is he funny to watch. Yeah. Just like Troubleshooter, bro. Just like Troubleshooter of old, completely bonkers. The watch him is absolutely hilarious. It brings it, it gives me life, brings me much joy. Yo, we out here room for Baby Lodge was fighting for their life right now. Auto correct on the fly then. Granting on Jiro's wishes. Bacon's going out all the way to the corner. That's 150 men to work with. Do you need the reset? Well, man. <coughs> All right, Andro's not gonna drop it this time. I have one to one. one guy. This matchup is hilarious. Also, just, just, just straight hands, bro. There's nothing. Two of the only characters in DNF move that just have no other shenanigans going on. Yeah. Yeah, so these, these two are like grappler, I guess. 
The grappler oh. got like, you know. It is only minus one. Basically on that. Oh my, what a cancel for Andro keeping him some safe because he was about to die. Yeah, you can cancel out of it. Bacon not wanting to go for the conversion to block. Oh, no JM? Oh, that, that one? <laughs> How many hits it didn't break the armor? Are you serious? I thought it had one hit of armor this whole time. What do you mean? <laughs> Oh my god, oh, this character. Oh, this character. Make it out to stay alive. Oh, what a pickup from Andrew. Andrew. But they can try to go for that instant JS, that call out the bro, but Andrew is sneaking under it. Oh, fashion? Oh, I say that's super unsafe. But Andrew not learn for the punish the chopping hammer though. All the way to the corner, but you're in gold cube now, and oh! it's not gonna matter when you get mixed by the five B from Vegas. Uh -oh. It can it can happen to you. Make out and goes up two one in the set for now. Yeah. <laughs> Away. It's the JS is going unchallenged by Anjiro. It's a very sad damage off. Yes, her DP. Mark's DP is very slow. And get thrown. Okay. Android pulling the way inside. Nice cancel the load to stop all the, the, the chopping hammer. Attack. Tried. The late 2B. Style it out from Android. Yeah. Just keeping up the pressure, not allowing Bacon Housen to change. Huh? Yeah, you've seen this many, many times before Andro starts off cooking, but Big House is able to, to just claw his way back. Got damage from that. Ooh, that's too, yep, too far away. Andro with the perfecto, taking us to a game five. Game five. Between Bacon House and Andrew, Bacon House is going back to character select. Uh oh. Maybe, maybe the, maybe just think it over real, real quick. Maybe do no a shot, Bacon House. No shot, Bacon House is going back to troubleshooter. Nah. No way. Ain't I'll no believe way. it. Would, he would go. He would probably go go back to Inquisitor before he ever goes back to troubleshooter. Oh, yep. you're. <laughs> yep. There it is. There it is. There it is. I know it. I know it. <laughs> Moment to find out. Let's okay. see if the Inquisitor switch is what he needed. Okay. Fair enough. What do we got? Now to play a little bit slow. Oh, yes. JM, my beloved. Oh, it's the other thing. It's not working. It's not working. Oh my goodness, he tried to press Ooh. one. Got counter hit by the shoulder check. Look at his damage. Don't forget, Big Houses and Push it is at least passable. He did make top 8 at Frosty with that character. That's true. Right now, he's getting bopped the hell and back. Oh, now, Andrew, sitting at set point. You know, it was looking looking all right for the first like interaction of that match, right? You got some white life, and you immediately jam convert over the slide attempt. Very good at crushing those lows that Andrew uses to get in. Uh, but once Andrew got the pressure started, it was not 
What you throwing? Ah, that's wraps. There it is. As soon as I saw that one inch punch just chunk the health bar, I was like, oh, yeah. that's it. Sayonara. Those bigger characters, uh, Monk can just true string into five into both hits of five B from anything. Doesn't have to borrow with the uh, or bother with the. the Force standing, standing. Yep. Okay, nice and simple. But great game, Piro. I run to a fairly strong start. Oh! Clipping him from that far away? Goodness. Look at the damage. However, great game did put crazy fingers into Goku. But it doesn't matter. Great. Oh no. You know, Crazy Fingers is holding sway. Beautiful punish from Breaking. Mm -hmm. No more of the shenanigans. I know you're mashing sway, but we're just going to put a stop to the shenanigans real quick. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. Round Star 5S connecting on the Crazy Fingers. Relaxing. Crazy Fingers trying to bully the way so I'm surprised he's trying to get McDonald's here on the Big Bang Punch. Because that is relatively important. Oh, again? Yeah. Uh, yeah I wonder if Great Cape doesn't know the frame down on Big Bang Punch. Because the it seems like the IS is just keeping Monk further away from him, which is maybe not what Great Cape wants. Oh, yeah. Ray Cape Hero taking game one, officially being the first to take a game off of Ragey Fingers. True. Ragey Fingers thus far have been undefeated in the bracket. Ray Cape trying to send them down to losers. Not quite able to get the safe jump. Hey, get the full punish. Breakkeeper, will he put Crazy Fingers into Goku? No, he will not. Just outside. Oh, what a 2B. Crazy Fingers trying to bully his way inside. All scoring in 2B is a hell of a button. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Crazy Fingers in there, but... Yeah, this, this great game's starting to play now, though. Overhead. Get all this damage. Oh, gosh. Great game was doing so well. Clip by the 2B. Great game here messed up. I, I think just seeing that sequence alone. Great Cape Hero might not be too used to block the blocking mode. Honestly, after the first, once once Crazy Fingers got knocked down, it was just that was guess for game. And a Great Cape unfortunately guessed wrong. Ooh, oh, nice reaction! Great Cape Hero. Um, the scaling though is not, shouldn't be enough to kill. Oh, Pops out of my the goodness, combo this anyways. Is <laughs> no punish on that guard cancel. Crazy thing is truly not not ready for that. Break it. Get away with a little bit of robbery right there. It goes up 2 0 in the set. Break it, please. Taking that one straight to the bank. Oh, yeah. If Crazy Fingers had been able to punish that guard council, that might have been the, the game. Oh yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Losing gold cube had more than had more than enough mana to get it done. Both players just running at each other. But Great Cape Hero was the more the more prepared. Ooh. Oh, what a 
I know that JS is like the most button sometimes, but Lost Warriors still got the best anti airs in the biz. Huh? Save? Sir, back back to me. Great cape playing a beautiful spacing game. Really shutting down crazy fingers and his muck shenanigans. Huh? From the top rope. Oh, all this damage is so important. His gray cape is on set point. Match out. Left frames? What? How did Green Fingers get hit? God, that Perhaps was trying was to try and... My guess is that he was trying to match away, but it does not matter. Great cape! We'll clean it up and take a 3 0 over Crazy Fingers. I'm shocked with that kill. Yeah, I thought. No, what? Next time. Next time for sure. Alright, stay pulling up the Lost Warrior. Andro staying true with the Striker. They already getting off a couple of solid hits. Will he put Andro into Gold Cube? Already here in Gold Cube. <laughs> and that's oh yeah, yeah. That's, this is when things start to get a little silly. Oh, Chad, yeah. Chad if you're not familiar with what Strike and Gold keeps uh, it allows her to cancel any of her MS moves into each other on whiff. Normally she can do it on hit or block, whatever, but it also expends that to on whiff. So she can do things like that. But she whips a DP and just goes into Tatsu for some more wins. Uh, they still staying alive? Andro trying to press. That is a disturbingly long time for Andro to not have pressed DP while in gold cube. Andro is trying to play some defense. Unfortunately for them, it didn't work out. They'll stay taking that round. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, Oof. what a jam! And the reward is equally as juicy from Stake. Get those third time seals up. I like the option to just end the combo there. Conserve mana for when he's going to be in clear cube in a second. Huh? Oh my gosh, that's 2A from the heavens. Stake with a beautiful roll. A clean 2A. And the Roblox Mafia boss takes game one. Roblox Mafia completes his first heist. <laughs> oh boy. And he completes two more. He got two more banks to rob. <laughs> <laughs> that part of me wants Andre to win because I just put, put some channel points on him. But at the same time, for once when he wins his final, we'll go crazy. That's all I'm saying. Lost Warrior Mira winning his finals would go insane. A sacrifice might have to be made. Ooh, tried to parry. A little bit low. Huh? Are we chilling? Oh, nope. Oh, what a confirm. Hero's rebeat pressure is so good. Oh, yeah. Completely ready. Uh -huh. Ooh, little bit, little bit you know, Julia? Even I sometimes forget clear key wall warrior just kinda pulls up on you from time to time. Oh yeah. He gets oh, yeah. Oh, so oh, the fast, and that was such a good reaction from a stake. Old back row, no punish, no punish from Andrew. Oh, no. Catch him low. low. Huh? Andro cleans it up. Takes home the round. Hey, yo! Right, that's 2S was kinda ham. That 2S was kinda ham, bro. 
There have been a lot of times where Andro has been loving this, like, 5A, 2S into 2A, like, quick little pressure string. Yep. And that's a, but we're kind of seeing the downside of it, where if Andro is autopiloting that string, he can't really confirm off the 2S if it hits. Simple. Wow, try to punish? Nice use of the DP. Oh, turn around as well. Andro, do you want to need one more solid hit? Not able to get it. Out defense oh. from Stake, but as soon as I yeah. say that, domain expansion. Commentator's curse. Immediate guard cancel into that. I'm... Uh. Listen, man, your your commentator's curse might be a little bit too strong. It's affecting all sides of this match now. Andro <laughs> as well is of equal as the commentator's curse of equal opportunity. Round three. All right, they one round away from making it two zero. Thank you. Was such an incredibly improbable comeback in that last round. Hang it on. Huh? Oh, the drop! No punish from Stake! Oh, but all right, that Andro was trying to throw. Whip throw attempt from Andro punished, and this they put him down in the corner. Even the spacing, who is with not punished? Short. Oh, was a low. In the corner, you get one more opportunity on defense to keep it solid. Oh, damn black overhead. There it is. They not getting on. the fuzzy blocks in. And Andrew ties it up once more. It's that situation is so so difficult to navigate. The striker can just throw in however many overheads she wants. Against Teller characters like Lost Warrior, she can do like up to four, I think, before she hits the ground. As they keep as they keep telling. Andro off to a very high start. Nearly 50% done to stake. Oh reset into 2D based off the parry. That is huge. Not quite gonna kill though. Oh my god, Stake, you got mixed, bro. The multiple overhead for just being the downfall of Stake cannot block them, unfortunately. Set. God damn! Not blocking your noodle! Uh, yeah, they're trying to force them, their way in. By mistake, working on the pressure right now. All needs is one solid hit onto Anji Roll. The last hit of five don't catch the stake trying to jump out. Oh. Oh, amount of damage, Anji Roll still not a good though. Wow, the quick reset into the two way. Stake does not know what is happening right now. Or a mix. Go back to overhead. I'm blocked out. Stake. Guard bar running low, but has guard oh. cancel and baits it all on a parry. This pressure coming out from Anjiro. All right, hold on. Just kiss him. Just gonna pull up on him. Oh, wh what? Yep. Oh yeah, just old cube striker, baby. Alright, because of that, Andrew, up 2 1. Red channel points might have a chance. Good. Roll through coming out from Andrew. Still very solid pressure game going on so far. Stake in the corner. Look at the guard ball oh. already at 2B. 
The stake is consistently just trying to... I, I can't tell if it's jump out, mash out, something. Just not being able to block and getting hit by a meaty one-inch punch is devastating. Look at that damage. Oh, Stake trying to run away from his problems. Not quite going to work out. And you will. Going up to step point. Dead point four. On Jiro. Over Stake. Stake had a really good start to the set. Started out very hot in the first game. Brought it close in the third. But since then, Anjiro's been cooking this one. But Ono still still got some life left in him. Fights back with the perfect. Can they give us a game five? Find out. Roll away, not punished. Stay. Getting a throw, but oh, unfortunately can't convert and block that jive game. Dive pool. Oh, is that it? I don't think that's it. Oh, Bunger has 100 mana to work with. That's how optimal we can be. No, he's one more and finds it easily. Stake going down. 3 to 1. My son, Monica, taking on Meza with the Swift. We have not seen a Swift Master in rollback on block in eons, let alone a Swift Master in top eight. But here we are, Meza keeping the character alive. Yeah. Being devoted to the Swift Master, at least until... Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark comes out. <laughs> Starting off big time with the storm strike. Oh, Monica will get clipped though. Huh? Alright, good blast coming out from Monica for now. Meza is out of mana. Yes, so I can't even activate the orb even if you wanted to. Oh, Tap Monica starter. Meza doesn't even mana. If Meza had any mana at all, that would have been death. But it doesn't matter because the Monocat gameplay already starting, where Monocat gets a little bit anti on defense. Meza taking advantage of it. The Monocat special. I can't honestly playing very passive in this neutral. Trying to vibe him in the corner. Not the wisest idea, but we'll get put by the tap. And brought well into Kurushi territory. We'll get a one time guard kill. Ooh, and chasing down Nezzo back Go Going yeah, for the guard break sequence as well. I love that reset, recognizing that Meza has no mana to work with. But look at the ISs. Your guard bar is gone. Oh, Your health is gone. Not enough ISs to save his life. Most unfortunate. Monocat, these taps are deleting your health bar. You cannot keep getting hit by them. Hey, yo, what a beautiful jam. Yeah, Meza saw that scramble, so immediate GC. Not going to deal with it any longer. To keep the mana, and I like that conservation effort because it's paying out in spades here. Should be in for Meza. There it is. Meza sealing out game one. Right. Only can like, still not playing for him. This game a bit too antsy. We'll get clipped from the air dash from Meza. And we chill. We'll get the staggers out. Oh! Not able to get the full convergent and try to monkey see monkey do. And unfortunately, we'll most likely die for that. Oh no, Meza does not, does not have any mana. Yeah, I can't lose the fight another day. 
Oh uh. no, it got low crushed by the JM. Oh, he uh, backed himself into it. My cat trying to get a bit too optimal. Wouldn't have dropped the, the Bumba. The double Fimble Venger paying out for his third master. Look at it. And Mesa's round starts in this set have been so good against Monocat, knowing his defensive tendencies so well. It's been constantly jump back, back dash, something active that gets hit by those advancing moves that he's putting out. Uh, a, ooh, they get clipped by the DP. Right, see, pressure reset coming in. Monica tried to get some sort of pressure down. Oh! Tried to JM, but will drop into the tornado instead. <laughs> I can't help but laugh at just the slow motion tornado. <laughs> yeah. Because of the conversion yep. slowdown. <laughs> just slowly inching its way yeah, underneath Monica. Uh, that's one of those moments where, like, you realize you messed up, and you're like, oh well. Like, oh. Forced to slowly watch watch your death approach. Monica is going back to character select, so like, still fighting for Wii Sports Resort 2. But Lost Warrior? Huh? Who is this? Who is Mesa, who is uh who is Monica picked? Nani? The end? What's he doing? Right. Let's see if Monica got that dog in him. You got that Lost Warrior in him? Only moment to find out. What's a drift out color too, I might add. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll get a slight, a slight input error, but it's okay. Oh, counter hit by the best. But I love the, the route from Meza as well, dragging him in with the suck. Get that extra confirm. Uh, uh. Get it? Mezza with the perfecto! Another perfect for Mezza's Swiftmaster, making an extremely convincing case for moving on in our bracket. Oh! The score is barely clipping out on the storm strike. Harry coming out from Monica. Now I'm trying to block right now. Hey, yo! Able to win a swift match with DP and able to get a full punch as well. Monica staying alive. Hey, Alright. First clean hit goes to Mesa. Oh! Need a JM tech out. My cat staying true to the tendencies, not trying to block on wake up right now. But we'll put Meza into three. Meza has it. more than enough mana to run the game plan now. Green clear cube things get very tricky as Swiftmaster. Oh, Body Cat overextended, hand caught in the cookie jar. It looks like that should be it. Oh yeah, Meza taking a 3-0 over Monica, and unfortunately sending Monica home. Respectable top eight finish nonetheless, but yeah. Indeed. Showed a lot of the counterplay that Monk has to launch it specifically. Some of those predict on vulnerabilities. What do I have? No stranger. Nice so roll back up block top eight. Corliss again taking firm control. This is how we've seen a lot of Monk matches so far. Starts out back up against the wall, but able to run it back. Time to see. We just up the nuke. Yes, we are. Basic fingers not gonna IS. That's half your guard bar gone, but now we can get in. There you go, catching of the sway. That's the one get away with it for free anymore. Oh my goodness. 
you know, Fair. Borderlands life just flashed before his very eyes right there. Yeah. If Borderlands was just a handful of frames slower, that would have been wraps. Oh, yeah. Nice plan for Borderlands. Trying to stay nice and calm this time around. Ooh, there you go again. Borderlands keeping nice and simple. Catching the sway and the chopping hammer. It's a crazy thing. You're gonna have to think of something else, brother. That's not gonna work on me anymore. Doing an extremely good job of shutting down all of Crazy Finger's defensive options in this time around. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I feel like a good amount of that is probably attributed to how much Borderlands has had to fight Monk in this bracket so far. Had to fight Crazy Fingers in Winner's Round 1. Had to fight Baconhausen later. Had to fight Resby, who was filling out the pocket Monk earlier in the bracket as well. Maybe yep. you see. All right, Borderlands taking the first game. Mm -hmm. Round one. Round two. Round three. to mash. Crazy Thing is finally able to get inside. Nice DP, sees the gap in there. Look. Huh. So now Borderlands has no mana though. We have to take a few more risks. We'll get hit by the Big Bang Punch. Borderlands in the corner, having to deal with this pressure, but Crazy Figure is not able to find the hit. The minus. Oh, but four more left, put him into gold cube. This yes, is no. Just outside of it. Wow, oh, most people have happened now. Have to be careful. Big Bay Punch could be coming in at any second. Oh, that was close. That was close. Borderlands spacing has just been immaculate in this set. That's not able to play for it right there. Oh, we going all the way to the corner. Mm -hmm. Take him all the way. Get up the pressure. Keeping the spacing. Keeping Crazy Fingers uncomfortable, even with the projectile and vulnerability that we've seen, has not been able to utilize it to get in. Uh -huh. Borderlands just playing so solid right now, but Crazy Fingers finds the roll. So Borderlands puts himself to the corner. Oh, hey, yo. Get it. Oh, drop the second dude. That would have been sick if Borderlands had hit it. Borderlands just playing so, so solid right now. Not like any other time for it the last set. Make it through this time around. Borderlands goes up 2 0. I guess Crazy Fingers. Yeah. It ain't going down like last time. Hey, you want to throw me up, up at the beginning of the set? Watch me throw you right back. Paid in full. I didn't even know that was punishable. That's me. What the one's teaching me something new? Huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm really surprised Rage Fingers hasn't done a single 6SM. That is projectile involved. Plus a block and a launcher. Try to go for the Big Bang Punch again, but the low. Another one stuffed out. Right. Borderlands with the Perfecto sitting at step point now. One away. The moving on. Sending Crazy Fingers out of fifth. That one Borderlands trying to go all the way to the corner. And with DP for a little bit of extra spacing and push back. Oh, 
So he brings his fat just a little bit, but he's forced right back out. Will get the JS though. Sorry, Kess is coming out. Will land back in control. This is where Crazy Fingers had struggled so much. Once Portal Edge regains that control, resets the spacing, getting in has been impossible. Huh? Oh, the game shot, right? Portal Edge, one interaction away. Oh! Okay. No more into the shenanigans. Crazy Fingers trying his best. They ask will slip right in. There you go. Borderlands was ready for it this time. No more shenanigans. Huh? It's bring 50%. Locks the new bar gauge getting very low. Bang punch Ooh, in, but it's we've represented the same option so many times in a row. Borderlands ready for it now with the jump back JA. The damage and a new combo. Maybe? No. Nope. Just DP. going DP. Send it home. Borderlands takes it 3 0 Maybe. over Crazy Jeez. Fingers. Returning the favor. Eight back in full. No APR. You 3 0 me, I 3 0 you right back, my friend. What are the chances that Tanger just parsect into Stakes PC? What are the chances? Any takers? Any takers? <laughs> Tenured not, is not at right Stakes now. Place playing Roblox. Yeah. <laughs> this is just a this is a quick DNF match in between Roblox oh, yeah. games. <laughs> oh my god. We bashing 2S? What hit man? Huh? Uh, five A's coming up, trying to bait him out. Is that allowed? If, if no one, if no one can find out, you will never know the difference. Oh, uh, oh no! The drop from this. Fake. We'll try to guard against him. We'll get pushed by the tornado. Method will take round one pretty, pretty cleanly. Hey, too slow with the, with the, with the two S's. Oh, nah, see, you got mixed, bro. You got Schmidt. What are you trying to throw for? He's in the sky. Yeah, go ahead. The guard cancel connects. They back throw out of the corner. Huh? Snake is in Goku though. Well, he was in Goku, now he's dead. Oh, yeah, unfortunately, we won't be able to see it. It's the same sequence that we saw earlier. Snake keeps wanting to guard cancel the pop on the, on the wind door, and it's not working out. That's with a very, very clean game, huh? Huh. Oh, they tried to DP, but Meza found the dead spot. Uh huh? Oh, no tap, rest in peace. They finally having a chance to get at least a little bit of offense going. But not able to get too much from it. The 2S call out? My goodness. Oh. We fumble it a little bit. A little bit of hot potato with our combos. Pick up from Meza. Uh, and we'll get the super. There we are. Meza, clean up the round. I love that super. 
Maybe it's because it's the only one that doesn't happen on that, like, just the, the same stage as all the rest of them. That one looks so nice. Hey. Not getting any momentum and get mixed. What? We'll get them out. Can work. Oh my goodness. Jump was not safe. Alright, boy. Right. To the top. Getting get fucked fucked. Into them. Once again, the wind of explosion has not been blocked by a stake. Woo. Come on, DP. DP for the one time. Bring up the boys. You haven't seen the boys in months! Come on, Snake! Come on, Snake, just do it! Oh, no boys. There they are. Yeah. There we go. Alright, guard cancel coming out from Ezra. Well, it's time to guard cancel, cancel for No, back throw moment! Oh my goodness, 6S conversion to three. He's staying alive. Alright, they got some with the hitman. Oh, got a little something something in there. The team has a fishy part sec hit. Only moment to find out. Nice movement from Mezza. Beautiful 5B footage as well. Right uh -huh. under that wish, JM. I like it. Uh -huh. Ooh! Fake with the ISA. I don't have to hold this mix no more. That's what the 5B calling out the success. Meta just looking damn near unstoppable. Right now. Keeping him outside of oh. Goku? What you doing? Oh, wait a second. Chance. One more. Later. One more shot. One more opportunity. Second. Oh! <laughs> oh no, the drop out! Too far away! And the whip punish from Meza with the JM. Once again, the Fimble Vent are coming in clutch. We saw it against Monica. We're seeing it here too. Just switch. It's time warrior. for the Lost Warrior to make a comeback. Yeah, it's yeah, time to get lost. <laughs> <laughs> he said, bro, I can hear it right now in the Discord voice that Tinder, you suck, bro. What happened? Oh, and Tinder washed us, so you're never parsecing to my PC ever again. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not letting you near my setup. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. Troubleshooter. Troubleshooter. I actually, I All haven't right. seen the Snake's Troubleshooter before. Yeah. So have I. I just haven't seen it in a very long time. Alright, let's see if the troubleshooter is cooking though. Ooh, one way to see if you find out. Okay. That's lit. That's a no mana though. This quarter. Oh! Fix him, my beloved. So what anyway, I started blast. <laughs> As you do. DP coming out. Oh, yeah, has drink. Uh, well, it's gonna get himself into that. Clear keep away, can Ah! Uh, that's uh, absolutely cooking. For the reset, fake not blocking his noodle. It's bop on the on the head. The storm strike puts Meza on set point. The secondaries from the stake have not been paying dividends. Meza just moving on. Uh. Alright, that did, that's doing some damage. Yep, yep, there we go. Solid damage. Oh, jump directly to the, to the tornado stone. Roll directly to 5B. Started blasting. 
fading out the roll. I love it from the stake. Fading Meza's roll attempt, punishing it all the way. How many records was that? Seven? Yep. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, super. Nice, Snake takes a round. Oh, what a roll of attack. Alright, Snake looking kind of nice off right now. Dark Castle, a late Dark Castle coming out. Can we use it just when Snake would run up and try and take his pressure? Oh! Roll time, DP. Alright, Snake, thing alive. We'll get the by the tornado's dead. JB, but no confirm from Snake. There we Again? go, we'll get it this time. Doesn't have mana no for the mana follow up. Oh, okay. no. Storm Strike starter is huge. That's going to be a solid 40%. Needs another hit, though. Finds one. Meza has some mana to play with. There it is. Oh. Meza moves it up. Takes it 3-0 over State. Well done. On, on the verge of disaster. Chad, who you got? Let me go ahead and go ahead and place a bet real quick. Great Cape versus Anjiro. So far, Great Cape coming out swinging and winning the first interaction. I'll start 5AA and not quite the end, the uh, option I'd have expected from Great Cape, but hands up. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, Great Cape get pressured up in the corner. Uh, Ray K fighting back. What? Anjiro will get the bus out. All the way through the corner. Ray K here, but oh, Gold Cube shenanigans. Starting up once again. Way to hold on now. I'm Jerome. Hey, yo. I. <laughs> that was just shenanigans followed by more shenanigans. We I never doubt Drake K. Piro's ideas. There's a whole lot of things you can do, but that is not one of them. Hero. Throwing hands with Great Cape, already popping him over the threshold for the cube. Oh no. Yo, he would mash him! The air reset from hit, get hit from Anjiro hitting Great Cape in mid JM. Whipping him out. Ooh! Not close at all. There we go. Yep, clipped by the 2B. Great Cape Hero takes the lead. Moving on, moving on. Great Cape had a very solid game one. So Finds the first hit here in game two. Ah. Sorry, can't slow. Just trying to fight out. Ooh, big two A for Great Cape here. We'll put Andrew into gold cube activation. Won't be able to Not kill, so you gotta, gotta play these next interactions so cleanly. 
Ooh, what a well timed roll. Ray Cape Hero, infamous for his love of roll. I mean, though, who doesn't, right? In the current state of DNF Duel, roll one of the strongest defensive options. Oh, yeah. Oh my god. Hydra had a solid pressure sequence, but we'll get matched on. Uh -huh. We'll get blocked on the head, but no confirm. Once again, we're in Gold Cube. Great Kid doesn't know the super, can't cash out, can't skip it, has to deal with this. What? What I would say. That's what I would say. Ricky Fierro goes up 2 0 right now. Making quite a convincing case for a grand finals appearance. Like I said, don't forget, this man has been cooking a lot recently in every bracket he's entered. Cleaning his place on the throne. Punishing this DP is a good start to it. Again, won't be able to kill, but has the cash out ready, stuffing out of a roll attempt from Anjiro. Skipping that clear cube. Oh, the, cube. Oh, the perfect, perfect nonetheless. He is getting cooked. You know some time to believe in the dream. Though. Oh, what a 5M. Break it, he'll continue to run a month. Oh, yeah, uh -huh. just like that. Oh. Andro fighting back. Uh-uh. Good. Putting Great Cave just over the threshold for Super. Now skipping Gold Cube is a much more clear reality for Great Cave Hero. Wait a second. Oh! 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 That 2S oh, yeah, got stuck, big boy. Oh, that 2S got stuck. Ajiro <laughs> holds on. How dare. How dare! Who else was flabbergasted? Oh, hold on. Great Cave did not take that lightly. Did not take that lightly. Huh? Is this the. No. Yes. Yes, it certainly is. Another perfect to the collection. Seals Grey Cage trip a Grand Finals winner's side. From the ground up. There's a lot of work put into it. And it looks like Meza is taking that and is paying dividends with that on the low. Still, still getting some solid places in nearly every tournament he enters. Yep. Let's see what he can do against Borderlands in his launch. Borderlands been on quite the streak since getting put into losers in round one. Doesn't show any signs of slowing down. Oh. Borderlands does like to play a very fast paced game. And I'm is having a little bit of trouble trying to keep up. Okay. Look at that Meza tried to guard cancel, but well, of course he would try to convert the JP, but still a little bit, a little bit too far away though. Just like that, Borderlands will take round one. It does so pretty handily as well. In this one you can already see ISing the storm strike to keep Swiftmaster very close, keep them in 5A range the contest. Huh? Oh, 
chill. Did I delete the tornado? As it was active? Yeah, <laughs> so just a little bit. Alright, Meza! Oh, oh, that way, if we get the kill with so the mash off of Woodland! Oh, not so the Pixel in a Dream. Pixel in a Dream, not it like this. Happen. You got nuke setups here. Oh, not gonna opt for it. Just yeah. gonna send the full screen. This is Launcher in Awakening. This is extra guard damage Launcher. If Borderlands gets a chance to play, this could be bad for Meza. Roll out. Yo, the pace is coming out from Borderlands. Not the bro. Pixel in a dream. Pixel in a dream. The dream is well alive for Borderlands. Yep. Keeping it up. Surprised that you didn't opt to reversal any of those empty jumps from Meso. You just seen him kind of like jumping and jumping in your face a couple times. I figured you might as well bite at one point, but Borderlands holding is strong. That's crazy that yeah. deletes the tornado. I've never uh, seen that interaction before. I didn't know you could delete the tornado once it started. Oh, what? Hey, yo? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, that was something. That was definitely something. What is this character Borderlands. doing? Putting my hands on Mesa. Another pixel in his dream comeback? Nope. JM seals seals out the dream. We keep seeing it. Mesa has a option to their opponents pressing in neutral to jump up Thimble Bender. Keeps counter hitting people out of their own pressure. Meza will opt to activate the clear Q from Borderlands. Uh huh. Chill. Meza blocking for his life. Guard Cage getting low, low. 5B gets stuffed out. Our Borderlands has no mana. Oh, but Meza tries to wiggle out. Gets a rocket to the face. Oh, there he is. He's in there. No, he's not. He tried. He tried. Back it up. Oh, my gosh, the two beats. Keep up this offensive. Get a Ahead of Borderlands trying to get that air tech move. Bro? Alright. Alright, bro. What what the hell was that? Launcher <laughs> players have gotta be stopped. Y'all so cursed. Y'all have had air tech nuke too good for too long. <laughs> no more of that foolishness. We're all tied up one to one right now. Already seeing the new bombos. Okay, so it gets punished by the grenade. It is a 5B starter, so it's not that bad. Yeah, but still, any unnecessary damage we have to take against the launcher is so. Still bad. Right. Uh, uh, dash up full screen on him like that. Well, it takes another round. Momentum definitely on this side. Oh, check out. Oh, DP gets baked in. Or Borderlands into clear cube. Oh, reset coming up, but the nuke is still there. But if box not big enough. Oh, 
Hatchet Mezzo on the way down with the 6M. Borderlands mounting a yet another comeback. Bro? No roll. Alright, all oh the way back away to get some mana. Again, the Thimble Vendor going, but Borderlands shoots right through it. Borderlands goes up 2 1 in the set right now. Might as well take it some time. Thinking. Think it through. I respect it. Let's see if Meza can run it back for the one time for the one time. Okay, oh, the Gucci belt up. is out. We're gonna try running forward. Meza hasn't re hasn't represented the belt at all in this set yet. That could be a deciding factor. Changes things up a bit in the matchup. Okay. Double laser. Meza is in clear range, so we'll get the extra move to speed boost. Oh! Nice reaction to the roll from Borderlands. We'll get the full punch and putting Meza in the corner as well. Borderlands now on set point. Meza finally able to get a little bit of a missile from going his way. Give me Borderlands just outside of Clear Key. Respectful and another tap. Not a lot of mana, mana this time outside of Meza. Double nuke coming in. Ooh, Dude, I'm, shocked like that that get, I'm shocked that the game survived two nukes yeah. being on screen at the same time. <laughs> I'm surprised that we are still spectating this match. <laughs> That's a fighting back with the perfect. We'll get the throw up as well. Uh, okay. Find it back. Yes, yeah, coming out. Nuke. Whip. Out of mana for Borderlands. Meta will find the 5B though. Meza's patience is paying dividends. It is paying dividends. Well, it's still got half a health bar to work with. It still is on set point. Has the awakening to boot. What a match. That's a lot of mana for that one. The nuke set up. Catches him low. Uh -oh. Doesn't have any mana to combo with. Needs one more hit. No nuke. Oh, the Gark has also had to get cooked by the nuke! That is so unfortunate. Gark Gage getting low. Oh, Meza nice. tried to wiggle out, tried to jump. Borderland takes it. One over Meza. Finals, y'all. Let's see who's got it. Who's gonna get it? Let the intros rock huh? for the one time? Almost for the one time. No, it's not for the one time, though. Yo, I need y'all to pick the boat stage more. This stage is, go this stage is sick. This stage is kind of sick. They do be kind of sick. Huh. I've seen- I've, I can only take on take the tavern so many times. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the tavern's <laughs> overplayed. <laughs> Everyone defaults to Tavern. Get something else. Nobody Back. picks Sky Tower either. This stage kind of boring, but I don't see it ever. Back. As long as it's not not the ocean, the Oceanic Express. That stage oh, sucks. Yeah. Not, that. Not, not that boat. That boat sucks. No, but that boat, this boat is whack. This boat's kind of sick. Oh, big boy Anthony from Borderlands. What a call out. That was kind of sick. Oh. oh. Duck and cover. Where you going, Anji? Can't run away from the You got to duck and cover. 
Oh, bro, I'm liking the move from Borderlands that air stalls. Well, so close. Yeah, Borderlands so is trying everything to not have to land. <laughs> yep. I don't blame him. Because the floor is lava. What? Well, time's that I can't come out. Very solid damage. Good oh, lord. Uh -huh. Ooh. Yes, that Andro force to concede so if we block the mirror. We'll get clipped by the 5 8 though. Look at that damage trying to follow. A lot of that was just straight white light light from the new. Ooh. Here by the forum. A Druin Gold Cube now. Gets the punish with it too! Wow! I can't believe that worked. Gold Cube, one of those yeah, things that we don't really see very often since a lot of strikers pop for clear. As it is a very strong cube in its own right. And some of these things that we're not ready for. Ah. Well, it's already down to 50%. Andre with a very well timed die kick to bait out the throw. Borderlands using great use of the Jade to stop any projectile about moves, but Andro still finds the way in. Andro, our drop. This a game one. Mm -hmm. Oh, the median swap. We're going to oh, Brawler. That was great, yeah. He said, I'm not dealing with this foolishness. I'm not even going to attempt to entertain this foolishness any longer. I'll do it one time for the culture, and then that's it. That's it. No mas. Right, we will be going with the Brawler, Clear Cube Brawler. Lot of Borderlands Brawler is known to be kind of nasty. It's definitely got some stuff to it. Let's see if it is enough to take it home against Anju. <laughs> barrels? Alright, barrels out. We played Donkey Kong already. Nice! Katsu over the barrels. Perfect height. White life starting to pile up. Ooh! Falling button. Captain Andro slip. Huh? Ooh, roll out. What? Still? Okay, hit though. There we go. Beautiful punish from Andro. Uh huh? Andro, bro, look in the lane. Hey, what you master JM for, bro? Just block. Simply block it. Huh? Where's the guard cancel? Oh, DP instead? Borderlands built like that? Very clean round coming out from Anjiro. And another clean starter from Anjiro as well. Bringing the prophecy true. Anjiro be cooking Borderlands. Got the guard break set, or you got the uh, the guaranteed barrel set up. Yep. Oh, what a five of them barely avoids the rocks, too. Mm -hmm. All the way to the corner. Ooh, I like that. I like that. A little bit spacey, too. Out. I'm just go black out. Good amount of, amount of white light stacked up. Oh, <laughs> oh my, oh my gosh. God. Borderlands, what did you press? What did you it's press? It's the second time that we've seen Unjiro just jump over the barrels. Instant JM to get over and punish whatever Borderlands is trying to do afterwards. I'm not going to bother with this. Oh, media DP, respectable. Oh, get punched, fool! 
Beautiful wall time, two left from Andrew for the frame trap. Andrew, a little bit low on man. The JM finally works for Borderlands, but Miss Info. Oh, projectile and go to it when he gets on Jiro through. The reversal on out. Borderlands is on a chance. And he has no mana, has to be more careful. Oh, what a chance, but no confirm. Hydro will get the TP. Let's go for a mix, I'm expecting. The delay. What a 5M. Andro goes up to set point. Armor. What? Delay DP. Goes right through. Ooh, simple needies. Keep it nice and simple. Let's back to Do some just outside for the keep as well. And two B to punish the wall. Borderlands trying to get way too antsy on defense. We going coast to coast. All the way, but we're not gonna be able to kill. Still need another hit. <laughs> oh my Whoa. gosh. We're spinning? We're spinning? This ain't spin to window. This is spin to stay alive if you're born away. Oh, JM. Hold on. the start, it needs at least one more touch, though. Won't quite be able to kill. Oh, we whiff cancel across the map. Delay cancel into the 5M. It is indeed low. And Angel takes it 3 to 0 over Borderlands. And we'll be going to grand final to win it. That's if we just gap him. But guys, we got our grand finals pulling up to the plate. Great game, Pharaoh the Lost Warrior. Angel with the Striker. A rematch of our winner's finals. Andro get caught not pressing the guard button. And automatic 50% gone. Oh, oh my god. We're getting sniped. Sniper! Very solid damage from that one dive kick. We break it real just outside of 30 cube, and we'll get the throw. Oh! Oh, that was unfortunate. There you go, DP, chase him down. Don't let him get away. So we'll get the mash out. Great Cape should be able to seal it out. Gonna make us watch the cutscene as always. Of course, as always. Great Cape special. Go. All right, Great Cape taking round one, but a big success from Andre. Brings it back. Great Cape here is not buying the die kick this time. Perhaps I'm just trying to bait out a potential parry. There it is. Get something going. Great Cape not able to make it in yet. Right, so the 2B. Ooh, nice 2B stuffing out the shoulder tackle. We should see how consistently Ajiro has tried to get in by dash blocking and it just not paying off for the Great Cape Hero's maneuverability has been too good. Oh, yeah. Game one. Don't forget, Great Capira is on the winner's side. Andre is on the loser's side. Which means that Andre actually has to win a total of six games to take home first place today. Right, here we go. Game two. Oh, what a dive kick. Pop them in the forehead. I was just going to take Great Keeper all the way to the corner. Woo! Well time parry from Great Cape. Go ahead and start this time around. He's punishing the roll as well. Oh, 
full on time stop. I think Great Games here just looking very strong. We'll get the deep, deep JB as well. That button was meaty. I just trying to jump shot, take up to the skies, and keep these clip by the Akuma fireballs. Hit during the recovery of conversion. Okay, another round in a row. That's three rounds in a row now. I don't need some sort of a mid straight. We are talking about it before the game, but Great Cave Hero might really have a handle on how Andrew likes to play. The winner's finals match. Great Cave looks like they're in control most of the time. We've seen this interaction before. The shoulder check catches the wake up JM, forces an air tech, and you get punished for trying to convert. Oh my god, oh, Andro fighting back though. Huh? Alright, guard cancel, forced out from Great Cave Hero. Nice short tackle to the Akuma Fireballs. Andro staying alive. Great Cave swinging at his demons. I throw Dabo locked down in the corner. Oh, Daibu beats out the two way. Very well done. Alright, that's a point now. Great Cave just on the verge of hitting that awakening. When that hits, things get a lot more threatening for Anjiro. Oh my goodness. I zero with the big boy damage. Not able to secure the kill though. Not quite. More That's dangerous territory for Anjiro. One hit from Lost oh! Warrior. That's it! Teleport Next. conversion for the fake out. The Lost Warrior got some mix. Hold on. Hi, low. Excuse him. What? Alright, they came here, goes up 2-0. That was thick nasty. Which is, can Great Cape keep it up? He is looking nearly unstoppable, unstoppable right now. He cannot make a bad choice against, against Andrew at this current stage. I keep it solid. Andro has the corner. This is where things get really dicey for Lost Warrior. To keep that striker pressure going to such a great degree, but Great Cape has consistently been finding the four M's out of the corner, keeping the fight to Anjiro. We're cashing out? Uh, nah, nah. I don't know if I agree with the decision to put Andrew over the gold cube threshold. That makes things pretty yep. dangerous for you. Oh my goodness. Brother. Yep, that's why. That is why. Andrew's getting a lap in this set right now. Nice use of the 5M as well. Flipping Great Cape Girl in the final hit. Oh, you tried to IS, got clips going up below. He has to get so much space, and it's been so difficult against a Grey Cape hero who has been consistently checking run ups with the Kubi, finding the counter hits, and getting the conversions every single time where they need to be. Ooh. Uh oh. Uh oh! Andrew needs one more solid hit to wrap this up. I see an egg of bar cancel. Oh! Oh! That's crazy. The invulnerability wore off there. I know. That's his what, DP in the game, mind you. What's crazier is that Great Cape Hero is one round away from completing a six-game streak against Anjiro. 
He is cooking right now. However, he is just shy of 50%. Will convert himself into Quidditch Cube. What the hell? Okay, he's scrambling. Will's back scrambling. into the corner. That should be it for Untrue. Gets the mana back. Or no, needs one more? Okay, yeah, Cam has a chance. Oh, be connect. Finds the mark. He's going to need one more touch. going to have the time stop ready on it, though. Just a little bit more mana. Oh my gosh. There it Catching is. Catching Andro Into trying it. to wiggle out. Mm -hmm. Man, oh my. Catching Andro trying to wiggle out with the slickest of two Bs. And Grey Cape here, once again, is your rollback on block champion. Making it 3 0 over Andro in his strike.